Hello. Here is uh, Jiku Leung from uh, SMK Jisha. I am a physics teacher for Form 4 and Form 5. So today we will study a lesson from a topic in a physics Form 5. So let us uh, start now. The theme Modern Physics, the Learning Area 7.0 Quantum Physics, the Content Standard 7.3 and Stein Photoelectric Theory, Learning Standard 7.3.4, Soft Problem Involving Einstein Equation for Photoelectric Effect. HF equal to W plus half mv square. The learning objective at the end of this lesson, student is able to solve at least three problems involving Einstein equation for photoelectric effect. Okay, let's look at the formula will be used in uh, problem solving. So there are six formula here. Okay, the first E equal W plus K max. E, e is the quantum energy of photon. So W is the work function. K max is the maximum kinetic energy of photoelectron. Okay, second formula E equal to HF. H is the Planck's constant equal to 6.63 times 10 power negative 30. 4 joule second. The F is the frequency of light. E is the quantum energy of photon. Okay, next formula. E equal to HC over lambda. E is the quantum energy of photon. H is the Planck constant. Lambda is the wavelength of light. And C is the speed of light in vacuum equal to 3.00 times 10 power of 8 meter per second. Okay, next, K max equal to half mv square. K max is the maximum kinetic energy of photoelectron. M is the mass of electron. V is the velocity of photoelectron. Okay, next, the bill equal to HF node. The bill is the work function. H is the Planck constant. F node is the threshold uh, frequency. Okay, the last one. HF equal to the bill plus half mv square. Now, this is what we call the Einstein photoelectric equation. The bill is the work function. H is the Planck constant. F is the frequency of light, and F is the mass of electron, V is the velocity of photoelectron. Okay, now we go to the problem solving using Einstein photoelectric equation and another suitable uh, equation or formula. Okay, uh, we have four steps here in problem solving. So step one, identify the problem. Step two, Identify the information given. Step 3. Identify the formula to be used. And step 4. Solve the problem numerically. Okay, we will dis discuss the four examples. Let's look at example 1. A blue, light, a blue light with a frequency of 6.67 times 10 power of 14 hertz is shown on a clean calcium metal surface. What is the maximum kinetic energy of photoelectron emitted? Given the work, work function of calcium is 3.43 times 10 power negative 19 joule and the Planck constant is 6.63 times 10 power of negative 34 joule second. Okay, let's follow the step. 
So step one, identify the problem. So what type of the quantity we need to find out? So in the question, we need to calculate the maximum kinetic energy of the photoelectron, Kmax. Okay, step two, identify the information, list out all the important information given. So here, got three important information already given. First, the frequency F equals 6.67 times 10 power of 14 hertz. Okay, second, work function equal to 3.43 times 10 power negative 19 joule. Last one, the Planck constant H equal to 6.63 times 10 power negative 34 joule second. Okay, based on based on the information given and based on the quantity we need to find out, then choose the suitable formula. Suitable formula to be used. Okay. So here the formula E equal to W plus K max and E equal to HF. You can combine it so that you will get HF equal to W plus K max. So this is the suitable formula. Okay, step four, try to solve the problem. So we substitute the value of HF and W into the formula. So you get 6.63 times 10 power negative 14 multiply 6.67 times 10 power of 14 equal to 3.43 times 10 power of negative 19 plus k max. So solve it. Finally, you get k max equal to 4.42 times 10 power of negative 19 minus 3.43 times 10 power of negative 19. And use your calculator. Finally, you get the answer. 9.92 times 10 power of negative 20 joule. Okay, example 2. Let the figure below show the change in kinetic energy of photoelectrons released from lithium for different light frequencies. Let determine the threshold frequency from the graph and calculate the work function of lithium. So given Planck constant H equal to 6.63 times 10 power negative 34 joule second. Okay, let's look at the solution. So don't, uh, for, don't forget. Eh? So four step. Step one, identify the problem. So what type of the physical quantity we need to find out? So here got two uh, one. The threshold frequency of lithium. Second, the work function of lithium. Okay, step two. So identify all the informi important information given. So the information given first, the Planck constant, H equals 6.63 times 10 power negative 34 joule second. Second, given the graph K against F. Okay, step three, based on step one and step two, so choose a suitable formula to be used. So here got two suitable formula. First, we try to use uh, the graph. So when k equal to zero, f is f naught if threshold frequency. So second, w equal to h f naught. Okay, step four, try to solve the problem. So first, refer to the graph. When k equal to zero, the value for f equal to f naught. So this value referred to the graph is 5.6 times 10 power of 14 hertz. Okay, second, substitute the value of h and the value for f naught into the formula. So the bill equal to 6.63 times 10 power negative 34 multiply 5.6 times 10 power of 14. So equal to, use your calculator, 
3.71 times 10 power negative 19. The unit is Joule. Okay, example 3. Now what is the maximum velocity of the photoelectron emitted when a monochromatic light with a lambda equal to 550 nanometer is shown on a matter which has a work function of 2.00 electron volt. Given Hc equal to 1.243 times 10 power of 3 electron volt nanometer, 1 electron volt equal to 1.60 times 10 power negative 19 joule, Mass of electron M equal to 9.11 times 10 power negative 31 kg. Okay, still follow the four step. Eh? So step one, identify the problem. So the physical quantity we want to find out is the maximum velocity of photoelectron. Okay, step two, identify the information given. So the five important information we need to use. So first, wavelength, lambda equal to 550 nanometer. Second, Hc equal to 1.243 times 10 power of 3 electron volt nanometer. And uh, next, 1 electron volt equal to 1.60 times 10 power negative 19 joule. Four, mass of electron M equal to 9.11 times 10 power of negative 31 kg. Five, work function W equal to 2.00 electron volt. Okay, based on uh, step 1 and step 2, choose the suitable formula. So, got two suitable formula here. One, E equal to Hc over lambda. Second, half mv max square equal to E minus W. Okay, step 4, now solve the problem. Okay, first step, substitute Hc and lambda into the formula. So, calculate E. So E equal to 1.243 times 10 power of 5 electron volt nanometer divided by 550 nanometer. So you will get 2.26 electron volt. Okay, second, substitute E and the field into the formula. So half mv max square equal to 2.26 minus 2.00, so equal to 0 0.26 electron volt. Now we need to convert electron volt to joule because half mv square, the unit is in joule. So that's why uh, we need to convert the unit electron volt to joule. So half mv square equal to 0 0.26 times 1.60 times 10 power of negative 19 joule. So equal to 4.16 times 10 power of negative 20 joule. Now we can substitute m into the formula. So we get half 9.11 times 10 power negative 31. Multiply v square equal to 4.16 times 10 power negative 20. So finally we get v max equal to square root for 2 times 4.16 times 10 power of negative 20 divided by 9.11 times 10 power negative 21. Use your calculator, so you get your answer 3.02 times 10 power of 5 unit meter per second. Okay, last. So to practice, to familiar with all the formula used in solving problem, try to do this uh, exercise. So three question. Okay, thank you. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.